Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Had a rental Hanes. How you doing, Christina? Good. Wow, look at this little big spacious situation. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you just, are you like holed up in that room? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll. Excuse me. Hey. Hi. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Look at you all handsome and stuff. You know, anything for you. <laughs> I mean, it's New Year's Eve, so you yeah, have to that, that too. Yeah, that too, yeah. Do you glass of champagne? Uh, it might be a little too early for that. Too early? Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, it's yeah. too early. Yeah, I have to like read some instructions and stuff, so. Okay. But I just wanted to come in and say hi. I'm gonna like get set up Can and I be doing you? some stuff. Yeah, 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 come on, come on. Hey. All right, YouTube, so. I did it. I rented the 5D Mark IV to see what the fuss is about. And I'm gonna pit it against my D750. Basically my Nikon system, because I also have the D800. But I'm gonna see what the fuss is about. I want to give you guys some content, something different to look at. Like what it's like for a Nikon user to shoot with a Canon uh, on a wedding day and see what it's like in real time. Or, I've used Canon before, so I have some experience with Canon because I used to shoot some video. So I have basic knowledge of the Canon system, like how to change the ISO, uh, the white balance and the focusing, but I don't know, not Canon like I know my Nikon. Like I could use this with my eyes closed. This I'm gonna have to look at. So might not have been the smartest decision to try to use a new system and a new camera on a wedding day, but new year, new me. So hey, new things, right? Anyways, uh, I'm going to take you guys through this wedding day with me with this Canon and uh, give you my honest feedback about how I feel about this and what it's like because it's interesting enough that like if you're a Nikon shooter, your choice is the D800 and, or the D750 and you kind of on one side or the other side in my opinion, whereas like for Canon, the 5D Mark IV is kind of like a middle ground. It's a compromise between the speed uh, and the low light capabilities of the D750 versus the high megapixels and the durability of the D810. So yeah, interesting enough. We'll see how this uh, fares and what I think. Anyways, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, we back at it again, looking for a first look location. This uh, this stairway looks nice. Could have her come down, he could be standing here, and she could come down the stairway, and he can, she can be like, oh, look behind you, it's me. And he turns around, we got like some nice light coming in here. So this could be a cool situation, bam. Okay, that works. It is cold outside. It's cold outside. So if we go outside, um, oh, this is actually blue. The colors are blue. 
so this would actually be pretty too for like a first look situation so we may end up shooting outdoors i don't want my reflection to show up but this this whole setup looks nice Oh yeah, oh look another <laughs> wedding, hey, congratulations. Oh, and they're wearing blue, what do you know? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hi. Did you guys just do the first look out here? Uh, no. Oh, just regular portraits? Uh, we're taking, yeah, we're going for a little, a walk, a walk. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you come this way as well. So I'm gonna have you actually Stand right here. Let me actually see what this looks like. This is perfect. The only issue that I have with this setup is there's a slight blue cast. Let me see what the camera does. That's a slight. Come out this way a little bit. Right there. Much better. Okay, so to show you guys how the autofocus works, well, how live view works. So if you look here, this is the exposed. See how it's locking on? And then I can adjust the exposure. Oh, okay, hold on a second. You don't do anything yet. What's up? So we should shoot this. Yeah, yeah. We want it on the so I can adjust the exposure what? to where it's just right. Yeah. And then I can shoot. Back up, Tosh. Get your hands on the photos. No, that's great. I think you did awesome. I love your colors. Thank you. They're so pretty. They turned out really good. Look at look how easy this is. It just follows the face. But I'm not actually here. No, 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 I'm back yeah, up. I'm gonna wait till we can shoot it. Ooh, lost it. Got it back. This is like the Sony system. When you hire educators to shoot oh, no. your wedding. Cause we teach. That's okay, that's great. And then we, so we're like, you know, that's basically what's happening. Wait, hold it. Look at this. Oh, Katie, I love you. Mm. They smell amazing. And then I can get like this upper that's angle. That's why I'm wearing PP perfume. So, <laughs> like, really? This is just like awesome. Oh, look at that. Anyways, I just wanted you guys to see like how it worked. Perfect. Oh, you two look at each other. Perfect, hold that. Wait. Get it even closer, going for a kiss. Ah! Perfect. Look this way. Perfect. Okay, so we're driving to the church uh, to start the ceremony, and I guess this is like a halftime report. But so far, my experience with the 5D Mark IV has been quite pleasant. Um, it takes a little Okay, so here's some photos from the uh, event so far. What's really cool, like I might have mentioned earlier, is this whole touchscreen function. So yeah, this touchscreen situation here, it's just really cool. And the D500 has it as well, so I mean, it's not anything new, but it's still just a cool thing to have, to be able to touch, you know, touch the zoom. That's just really cool. You can zoom in, but 
you can pinch the zone. So that's cool. Also, the menu. If you're looking through the menu, somebody who's never used a cannon like this before, I'm like, okay, how do you I go from menu to menu and things like that? Well, now I don't need to. All I got to do is just hit the button. I don't have to even know like how to switch stuff. That's just like so cool. Anyway, let, not, don't let me like do anything to mess up the camera. But yeah, that's just so cool how like it's like touchscreen. That's like the future. Oh, by the way, I'm shooting on medium raw. Medium raw is um, 17 megapixels. I guess I was shooting in JPEG as well. I didn't know that, but hmm, yeah, let's set that off. I don't need JPEG anymore. Let's set that. Dual pixel enabled. I don't know how dual pixel will affect the image quality or anything like that. Uh, go back. How do you go back? It's quite the sensitive screen. Yeah. Enable when image quality is set to raw. Uh, that blah blah blah. Yada yada. yada. Anyway, yeah. So I'll play around with dual pixel because I guess it's supposed to help for like focusing and stuff later. But yeah, we'll figure that out later. But um. Yeah, so far, so good. This is a really, really cool camera, really responsive. The scroll wheel, so you can scroll through all of the photos. You guys can see everything I've taken so far. So yeah, this camera is pretty awesome. Hopefully Nikon will catch up. Because I don't want to have to switch, but this thing is very capable. Anyways, on to the rest of the day. You guys want to come out to the sparkles, right? Yeah, just They're going to line this way. All right. Hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second. You guys stay right here. Everybody come out if you're not afraid to get wet. They just stop burning real yeah. fast. They, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They burn for 15 seconds. Yeah, we got it. <laughs>
Are you excited? Very excited. Are you happy? I see fireworks. Yeah, yeah no. What's going on? No, literally fireworks. Yeah.